able to understand it now yes sir yes sir okay vaishnav you want to lower your hand or you have some more question uh, sorry sir i i okay so um, while we do this uh, you should also be aware that before you do any circuit analysis there is something else that has already gone in the background so in the background someone has designed a process created devices on that process and given you the models models of transistors capacitors and resistors so that you can actually directly simulate and do circuit analysis over here is that okay and the process design itself uh, so some of you if you will do the course on uh, nano electronics or if you get to work with dr snake you will see that you will work on these tcad tools like silvaco okay and you will actually you know make these source and drain regions and see the potential in that source and drain region and you will see how your device will finally behave so even before the so even before the process is designed you you do these silvaco or tcat simulations to see how would you want or you know what to expect when you have one kind particular kind of doping and stuff like that so through silvaco you can actually have a real physics based simulation and come up with the transistor characteristics you can make a model out of it and say that will this meet my my performance specification of this at the sock level quick analysis you know back of the nullab analysis you can do and only then you say okay let me go and design this thing on a silicon okay so the entire you may say the entire vlsi design flow someone or the other in our faculty team will take you through one course or another or if not a course you can take an independent project or something to to learn about all these various aspects of vlsi design flow overall chip design whether it's library design or soc design or uh, ip design anything so a wide range of people in our in our faculty would be able to take you through all these courses okay so this is a overview of vlsi vlsi work that we do uh, the kind of jobs that we have and so on meher you have a question yes sir what do you mean by process exactly process is the technology part the doping you know okay. the doping that you need to do uh, what is the depth of doping whether it has to be an implant or you know, which way you do the doping and all that stuff that is the process uh okay okay so tavi going in the previous slide i was not able to understand that what part yeah this part i mean uh, someone has designed this pmo uh, uh, this uh, mosfets or this uh, capacitors and resistance and what are we doing with this i'm not able to connect it so in your circuit you wanted to put a pmos there na yes sir so someone has designed it yes okay 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 sir okay someone had to design those pmoses also they didn't come out of thin air so yes raghav so in the process uh, do you mean that the 65 nanometer process or this 45 okay and sir and what we are making from those process like the pmos and mos that is the device level yes right okay sir also sir like for example sir uh, what somewhere i actually uh, read that uh, for example 65 nanometer process there could be different versions of it like could be tensor version so what way would that be coming in those three levels like for example i'm devising a device and uh, yeah it would come here it would come here it would say that okay now physically the length has to be reduced because i want to make a shrink version i want to make a denser version okay okay 
so but like there also like there is also like a kind of fast and the slow of, of for a particular that procedure. is because of variation that we will see okay that okay, is because okay. of variation okay okay sir okay sir yes sir and so this transistor in the picture sir is it in the normal transistor or something like fin fat or something? i'm sorry is this normal that, transistor uh, or i mean fin fat or something like that i don't this know this is fin fat okay this is fin fat 